Hi guys, my name is Valerie from Valerie Visuals and I'm an illustrator, graphic and motion designer. In this tutorial we are going to create a text revealing by a ball animation. This is a great way to practice different methods and techniques that can be used in frame by frame animation inside Procreate. If you didn't see the previous parts of this tutorial, I recommend you to see them. That way you will understand more what I'm going to do in this tutorial. So, first activate the drawing guide and the animation assist. Increase the frame rate to 24 and now let's draw a letter that we want to reveal. I choose the letter K because on this letter it is possible to present the methods that exist in Procreate in the best way. Now I make this layer a foreground layer, decrease the opacity of this layer so we can see our path more clearly, then create a new layer and let's create the path for the ball animation. Create the direction of the animation and the main frames. There we need to decide where we want the ball to be fast or slow. Decrease the opacity of this layer and create the final guide before starting the animation. Now we can delete this first guide layer, make this layer as a background layer, decrease the opacity, create a new frame, choose a brush and the color that you want and start to create the ball animation. looking nice. Now with the transform tool we can adjust the size of the ball in a different part of the animation. So choose a frame that you want to resize, then with the transform tool adjust the size as you want. I usually increase the ball size in the parts when it gains speed. In areas like this, when you want to resize only one part, select the part with the selection tool like that. Then resize with the transform tool.
Now we can turn off the guideline and create the reveal animation. In my opinion, the best way to create this effect is to work from the end to the beginning. I will explain. First of all, we need to find the last frame where the ball touches the letter. Now let's bring the opacity of the letter to a maximum. Then we need to duplicate this layer and place it under the ball frame we found earlier. Put these two layers into one group by selecting them and then click on group. Now select the letter and with the erase tool start to erase parts of the letter. We need to turn off the foreground layer then we can see. Then duplicate the new letter layer and place it under previous frame. We can close this group. Now group those two layers, stand on the letter layer and start to erase a letter part here. I'm changing the background color to black so you can see what I'm doing more clearly. We can also turn off the drawing guide. Now duplicate the letter layer, place it under the previous frame. Group these two layers and erasing a little part from the letter. Let's turn off this group so we can see better what we are doing. And now let's start to erase the upper part of the letter. So find the last frame where the ball touches the letter. Open the group, make sure you're standing on the letter layer and start to erase. You can leave only this layer visible by pressing and holding on this group. For this part of the animation we need to duplicate the letter layer and group it with the ball frame and put them to one group as we did earlier. Continue with this process till you get to the final frame when the ball don't touch the letter.
Now I want the letter to stay for a few more frames in the end of the animation. To do this click on the final frame and then increase the hold duration. We can delete these frames. Now I want to add a little splash in the moment when the ball touched the ground. Open the group, add new layer inside this group. Press and hold for a sample the color, choose a brush and make sure you're standing on a new layer. Repeat this process to the next frame. Let's see what we got. In this part of the animation, I want to add a speed trace. So I create a new layer under this layer, then grouping those layers and start to draw the speed trace. Same process to the next frame. I usually add the speed trace when the ball go fast. So this is the final result guys. Now I want to show you how you can export this animation. Go to actions, share and then choose animated gif. You can also choose to export this gif with transparency background. Then just click the export button and choose where you want to save this gif. Hope you learned something new today, subscribe to my channel if you find this tutorial helpful and I see you next time.